Father, we declare your sovereignty over all creation, for by you all things were created that are in heaven and in earth, both visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by you and for you, and you are before all things, and by you all things consist. We declare according to Psalm 94 that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend until the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath the clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Selah, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God strong and mighty, the Lord God mighty in battle. Father, we thank you that the whole earth is filled with the fragrance of the knowledge of your glory. Before you, governments, armies, nations, and rulers stand at your command, for you have declared that the heart of the king is like water in the hands of the Lord, and you turn it in whatever direction you choose. For who is like the Lord our God, who sits enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth, who raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes, who sets them among princes, even the princes of his people. You give the childless woman a family, making her a happy mother, for no one can withstand your power and no thought of yours can be hindered. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. Your name is Jehovah Sabaoth, the God over the armies of heaven, for you have triumphed over every nation, for the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever. You are the God that took nothing, flung it into nothing, and created everything with your divine artistry, you constructed the sun, moon, stars, planets, galaxies, and all intergalactic bodies. With your divine precision, you caused the protons, neutrons, and electrons to converge into atoms and perpetuate life and creation. In your wisdom, you measured the nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, neon, krypton, helium, and hydrogen to support life on Earth. You are omniscient, which means you are the God that operates outside of science. There is no case against our God, for you are the God who is and was and is to come. Science only proves the existence of who you are for all of creation testifies about you. Even if man decided not to praise you, the rocks would cry out. You were seen as a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night as you led the children of Israel through the great and terrible wilderness. You are the God that sent the ten plagues against Egypt and caused Pharaoh to let your people go. You are the God that caused bread to rain from heaven to sustain your people. You caused David's stone to destroy Goliath, overthrowing the national terror you rescued the Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace. You made lions to submit to Daniel. You caused the water to become lighter than the axe head for Elijah. You restored a valley of dry bones for Ezekiel. You are the God that answered by fire for Elijah and destroyed the altars of the false prophets. You are the immutable, infallible, all-wise, all-knowing, unfathomable God. For your thoughts are above our thoughts and your ways are above our ways. You sit high above every nation and your kingdom rules over all. Over all. Psalm 91 declares, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father, we declare that we are hidden in Christ, and the enemy cannot detect our location. We draw a bloodline.
line of protection around our families, communities, nations, ministers, etc. and declare the blood of Jesus has prevailed. We declare we are protected. We expand the blood. We increase the blood. We plead the blood. We speak the blood of Jesus over our children, over our business, over our ministry, over our community, over our family, over our friends, associates, customers, and we even pray for our enemies that you would bless them. We declare that we are safe. We are safe over the roadways, over the airways, over the waterways, over the walkways and railways. We unearth and destroy every diabolical seed planted for our demise. We obliterate every subtle plot, ploy, and attack of the enemy. May every evil device sent against us utterly fail. May all demonic intelligence systems carrying our information be interrupted. May every evil dream about our future be turned into a happy ending. We declare that everything the enemy showed us about our lives, relationships, health, ministry, children, and future is a lie for the word of the Lord declares for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord they are plans for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope father we bind all spirits associated with the sun the moon Pleiades Orion Octorus the constellations of the south the Maseroth the bear the giants and all intergalactic bodies we declare the sun doesn't work against us but for us the moon doesn't work against us but for us we unhook ourselves from the grasp of every demonic season we will not experience crisis beyond a statue of limitations we buy back our times and seasons by the blood of Jesus and declare our times and seasons are in the Lord's hands we reverse every demonic negotiation and decree we are free from every law verdict mandate directive and injunction with our names attached to it we have been granted diplomatic immunity and are loose from the effects of the kingdom of darkness for we have been translated into the kingdom of light far above principalities and powers we decree our names and livelihood are protected we cancel every weapon sent to destroy our reputation we loose ourselves from stigmas and preconceived notions and ideas about who we are and decree according to your word that you will make our name great as you did for Abraham. We have a great name. We have a powerful name. We have a favorite name. Our good name opens doors. Our good name precedes us. We have a brand equity in our name. People mention our name when they want doors open for themselves. We are loved and revered by everyone who knows us or meets us. We speak protection over every prophetic word spoken over our lives and decree it shall come come to pass in the correct time and season for the word of the Lord declares so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it father we thank you that we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus for our righteousness is as filthy rags and when you see us you see your son for our lives have been hidden in Christ we repent on behalf of the sins of our fathers and declare our bloodlines are cleansed by the blood of the lamb we declare that Every generational curse of infirmity, fear, divination, whoredoms, bondage, haughtiness, perverseness, antichrist, deaf and dumbness, heaviness, lying, jealousy, poverty, error, and premature death is destroyed. For your word declares that the curse goes to the third and fourth generation, but the blessings to the thousands of generations. We apprehend every generational blessing and declare that the inheritance that was stolen from a previous generation is released to us. Everything that was owed to our forefathers, we reap it in our times, whether land, money, respect, wealth, opportunities, mantles, anointings, blessings, gifts, etc. We shall recover all. We declare that our minds are loose from strongholds and that every demonic lie has been exposed. We bind our minds to the mind of Christ and declare we think the thoughts of the Lord, for we know the truth and the truth has made us free. We speak that we are loose from mind battles, anxiety, double-mindedness, fear, depression, suspicion, jealousy, rage, anger, bitterness, comparison, and unbelief. Our thinking is untwisted and we have the ability to think critically. We won't fall prey to conspiracy theories nor propagandas, for we are led by the spirit of truth. I decree that we are being birthed into new realms of power, new realms of influence, new realms of wealth. I pronounce a benediction on our old season and declare that this is a new era for us. We are delivered from every relationship and organization that can no longer accommodate our growth. We are loosed from the cycle of repeat diabolical relationships. We cut ourselves free from every person person who doesn't value us, from every person who is using us, taking advantage of us, manipulating us, abusing us, mistreating us, competing with us, and devaluing us. 
We are free from unrequited love, one-sided relationships, chasing people, excessive neediness, needing to be needed, needing to be used, needing to be accepted, needing to be taken advantage of. Every ungodly soul tie is severed by the sword of the Lord. I decree that we attract healthy relationships that are mutually beneficial, loving, supportive, balanced, and godly. Every placard over our lives that says, use me, take advantage of me, hurt me, abandon me, gossip about me, overlook me. We remove it and decree that we have been marked by favor, marked by grace, marked by power, marked by wealth, marked by influence. We wear a mantle that causes people to respect us, revere us, celebrate us, support us, admire us, and defend us. Father, we speak total healing over our bodies and declare according to Psalm 103 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Father, restore our health. We decree that we will keep the protocols of good health. Loose us from excessive eating, sugar addictions, excessive salt intake, mismanaging stress, sleeplessness, anger, unforgiveness, and any other habit that could compromise our health. We speak divine alignment to every body system and decree that it functions at optimal efficiency. We speak healing over our integumentary system, skeletal system, muscular system, lymphatic system, respiratory system, digestive system, nervous system, endocrine system, cardiovascular system, urinary system, and reproductive system. Sickness and disease are not a part of our testimony, for you keep our bodies in good health. For the word of God declares I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers We bind every attack of infirmity against us and decree that you were wounded for our transgressions Bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes we are healed Father, we curse the root of sickness and disease and declare the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus Has made us free from the law of sin and death I decree we are loose from diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, abnormal growth thyroid disease, AIDS, HIV, strokes, heart attacks, aneurysms, lupus, sickle cell anemia, arthritis, COPD, asthma, sinuses, allergies, GERD, diverticulitis, loss of hearing, conditions of the ears, nose and throat. We are loose from conditions of the spine, blood clots, conditions of the skin, muscular dystrophy, Alzheimer's, dementia, kidney disease, conditions of the reproductive organs, sarcoidosis, leukemia, learning disorders. I reiterate that by your stripes we are healed. Father, we decree that every negative prognostication concerning our health turns around for our good. May the medical professionals be amazed at the miraculous workings of our God. We walk in divine healing and our habits are in alignment with our faith. Father, we declare that we are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in our outgoing and downsetting. We declare you give us houses we didn't build and vineyards we didn't plant. For strangers shall build our walls and kings shall serve us. For the wealth of the sea is converted into us. Father, we thank you that you have leveled the mountains and broken down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron to give us hidden riches and secret places that we may know that you are the Lord our God. You have declared for every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you for the world is mine and all that is in it. Father, we won't be afraid of lack because you are the supplier of all of our needs for the word of the Lord declares. Therefore, I say unto you, be not anxious for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than food and body than the clothes? Behold the birds of the heaven that they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, and your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are not ye of much more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit unto the measure of his life? And why are ye anxious concerning clothes? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God doth so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? 
Be not therefore anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whither shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Be not therefore anxious for the morrow, for the morrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Father, we seek your kingdom, and therefore all these things have been added unto us. We speak the release of real estate acquisitions, multiple streams of income, passive income, miracle money, corporate sponsorships, donations, grants, endowments, prime properties, networks, stocks, bonds, annuities, investment funds, open doors, opportunities, cryptocurrencies, customers, and the like. We decree that our lives are recession-proof and that the changing economy does not affect us, for there is no lack among us, for we are part of heaven's economy. Father, we thank you that our bills are paid far in advance, our bank accounts overflow with increase, our investments prosper daily, our networks are expanding, our net worth is advancing, our brain equity is increasing, our homes are safe havens, our places of work and business are peaceful, our churches and ministries are blessed, our businesses and ministries are on high demand, and we are well supported by clients, parishioners, followers, subscribers, friends, and donors. Father, give us your character. Let us reflect your glory in the earth. For Galatians 5 declares, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against us there is no law. We choose to walk in the Spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Through your Spirit we mortify the deeds of the flesh so that your nature will be revealed through us. Father, you are able with every temptation to make a way of escape because Jesus who knew no sin became sin for us on the cross. Father, don't let us fail this assignment. We will not allow the temporal to rule over the spiritual, for we have been bought with a price and therefore will glorify God in our bodies. We thank you that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are loosed from corruption, greed, double dealings, lying, stealing, cheating, envy, ungodly soul ties, violence, perversion, promiscuity, and the like. We will choose humility over arrogance, truthfulness over lying, contentment over stealing, thankfulness over rage, good deeds over revenge, love over hatred, mercy over criticism, meekness over pride, self-control over drunkenness, conviction over denial, joy over complaining, celebration over envy, gratitude over jealousy. We choose to love those who are undeserving, for that is how you treated us. We forgive those who have offended us and let them go free. We declare they owe us nothing. We release the unpaid invoices into your hand and release you to pay us back. For your word says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. We release your hand to enact vengeance and restitution as you see fit. For you are merciful and a just God. We will be good to the poor and destitute. We will show empathy to those who are immature. We will show mercy and forgive ourselves the same way we do for others. We will positively contribute to society as a whole and the advancement of humanity and your kingdom. Now unto him who was able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen.